As an eighth grader at a public charter school, Brianna Benoit wanted a change. The school I went to, it was six through 12. So my plan was like, and my mom's brain was for me to just stay there. And I was like, I can't stay here. Like I need to leave, I need to do something else. The curriculum at Bishop Fenwick, a Catholic high school in Peabody, appealed to Benoit. Her good grades and high test scores secured her acceptance, but she faced a financial roadblock. I applied here behind my mom's back. When my mom found out that I applied to family, she's like, Brian, you know you're not going there, right? Because it's like $15,000 a year. Like, I'm not, I can't pay for that. A Catholic education comes with a price tag. According to the Archdiocese of Boston, elementary school tuition at the low end ranges from $5,000 to $8,000 per year, depending on the school, with high school tuition averaging $20,000 per year. I know I wouldn't have been able to come here if I wasn't on the scholarship I was on. Part of Benoit's tuition is covered by the Inner City Scholarship Fund, established by the Catholic Schools Foundation, a nonprofit committed to helping Massachusetts students in financial need achieve a high quality Catholic education. Mike Reardon is the Catholic Schools Foundation's executive director. Of the over 4,000 scholarships, usually it averages about 33% of tuition, sometimes up to 60% of tuition. Um, but we think it's very important that the family contribute. The Inner City Scholarship Fund of the Catholic Schools Foundation is uh, the primary driver in the CSF funding. And what's awesome about it is that that funding stays with each of these students for all four years. Did you get your grade back? Benoit, now a senior, says Catholic education has opened doors and inspired her passion for service. She traveled to the Dominican Republic in 2019 on a mission trip with her classmates. We ended up visiting two orphanages and donated stuff to both of them. A big part of being Catholic is definitely like giving back and wanting to help out others um, because like we're taught like Love your, like, love your neighbor. But even with the love and community central to a Catholic school education, Benoit says she has experienced racism. My freshman year, someone actually said the N-word to my face, and I had never heard that before, ever. They said it like derogatory to me to put me down, knowing that they could use that one word to put me down. But I was just a freshman, and I didn't want to make a big deal. I didn't tell the principal, I didn't tell anyone. Benoit says the experience haunted her through her junior year. Clearly, I wasn't able to move on because I didn't fully process it and forgive her. And then through having conversations with her and stuff, I was able to actually like forgive her and move on. And now I'm ready to like talk about it and use it to promote others. Benoit champions change through Fenwick's Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Club, which she founded and chairs. I think inclusion is like, the most important because obviously everyone has their differences It's what diversity is but it's what brings us together that's important it's like obviously like we can see our differences in each other but we need to find a connection that brings us together it's like we're all human we all have to live in this world together so we need to come to a common ground and respect each other Do you remember we were daniela lopez is a fifth grader at east boston central catholic and is happy to be back in the classroom i like in person better I like that we learn a lot and that we always have fun and we always laugh a lot. Even with financial assistance from the Catholic Schools Foundation, her father Alex works two jobs to afford his daughter's tuition. I work Monday to Friday in uh, Padman Investment. In weekends I work in a Mass General Hospital. My wife works almost six days a week sometimes. Lopez says the sacrifice is worth it. My wife say the best thing can happen to our family is to get a good education and we can sacrifice to not have a car or to not live in a good place. And I think that was the best decision we make. Daniela's sister Shawty was also a CSF scholar at East Boston Central Catholic and is now a student at St. Joseph University in Philadelphia. We are very blessed and very thank you to the organization, Catholic School Foundation. They give you this opportunity to me and my family to see our next generations going to a different level of life. Every day we thank God for that reason.
And back to Brianna Benoit. She was able to participate in a summer program at Boston College with costs covered by CSF, living on campus and taking an investigative reporting class. She is still deciding which college to attend next year. She applied everywhere from Harvard to the University of San Diego. She hopes to be a psychiatric physician's assistant. Next, a young tech whiz starts his own club. 